Hallelujah, hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya, one more time. Praise Ahaya, from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann. Yes, Ahaya, the Christ. Yes, Ahaya of Nazareth. Yes, Ahaya, the Messiah. If you want to know why I call God Ahaya, and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, I have done a video, <coughs> sorry, concerning that. Okay, brothers and sisters, a bit of housekeeping. You can always skip this part and go to the main message. Not a problem at all, okay? Okay, brothers and sisters. So, um, remember when I make a comment, my name, Sister Carrie Ann, it is in solid gray border. If it's not solid gray border, that's a dirty demon. That's a dirty person. You need to repent buke and report them for pretending to be me and try to fleece you out of your goodies all right report them brothers and sisters because they're very very wicked all right brothers and sisters we continue with the top 20 um the lord has instructed me to call out the top 20 names on this channel yes i enjoy doing it but it's more of a spiritual thing it is helping the brothers and sisters to build their alert system to build their spirit man teaching them to be alert so when that notification comes in comes in from dirty you 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 can say oh yes sister Karen has uploaded a video but translate that um that that notification in your spirit in learning to be sober to be vigilant to be watchful to watch the times and the season for the returning of the messiah that's all the top 20 is about a lot of people don't understand it but it is definitely helping building people's spiritual man hallelujah all right so these are the top 20 brothers and sisters underneath the video um underneath the video concerning I'm, I'm getting it. This, this is on my oh, the devil is a dirty lie. Don't like to use my iPad because it's just so wicked. <laughs> my iPad's wicked. Everything is wicked, ain't it? Really and truly. Um. Okay, brothers and sisters, just bear with me one deggy deggy second. Mighty God of creation, just bear with me. That's, I don't like to use my iPad. Oh, Father God of creation, Nora. Right, let me see if I can. Okay, let me see if I can go to the first. Where is it gone? I'm just trying to find the first. So that would be the first. Just a bit all the brothers and sisters. <laughs> Sorry, when it's just trying to spare. Okay, these are the top 20s. Um, brothers and sisters in the most uh, higher underneath the video concerning parasitic um, stuff on your skin. All right, and I've and I said we need to go to the, the backup channel where I've done the prophetic vision with the Lord showing me a vision because of that. A lot of people become fungal, very powerful vision. So go to the backup channel and watch it. All right, top 20 brothers and sisters in the most uh, higher. All right, on the video, such a lady 0546, Sister Flora Faith. Capilio, Nikita Thompson, Shanna Fisher, The Holy Watchers Ministry, okay, Solly H, Kensiwa, Enna, Constanza Ya, Marcel Lopez, Sino Dub. Eve New Beginnings Line Chasson Jaqua Welcome Atisha Reliford Precious Floor and Natalie T Shaneka Smith Stewart Diane Ratinab, Caroline, and Martha, and um, yeah, all right. So, those are the top 20 brothers and sisters underneath that video. All right, brothers and sisters, okay. So, we are near, we're not only near to the returning of the Messiah, but we are near to the revealing of the Antichrist and the lawlessness of sin. You've got to understand that, brothers and sisters. While you're enjoying life, while life is still good for some of us, 
all right and the most uh, a higher is still blessing and pouring out his blessing in whatever way he chooses and sees fit please understand that you must not store up your treasures on this earth because it will rot your treasure should be built on the most high knowing that this world is, is a troubled world we're just passing by it passes through so we're near to the revealing of antichrist and the lawless lawlessness of sin basically the new world order all right so we have a prophetic song as well it's a song that my mommy taught me when i was a little girl she's had sweeties and stuff and when we're near to the stuff she used to sing how near you are um and so it's a fitting song for the end time because we're near we're literally near so we can sing that song with confidence and it goes like this <clears throat> i don't know nothing about new year's eve song or it's sounding like new year's eve or it's a freemasonry song oh heaven knows i don't know so don't come to me with that brothers and sisters it's just an innocent song that my mom taught me all right okay and it goes that so if you've got a problem with it you need to speak to my mom and ask her where she <laughs> you can't you can't ask her where did you get that that song from mommy dearest where did you get on oh, here we are from i must ask her actually i'm going to say mommy where did you get that song from and she probably say oh up yo. anyways okay so the song goes like this Oh, there you are, oh, there you are, oh, there you are, oh, there, oh, there you are, oh, there you are, oh, there you are, oh, there, hallelujah. Yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with what? With confidence, hallelujah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Yes, this song is about Barry, all right? Now, I can't be calling up his name, Obama, too much on my videos. So, from now on, you know who Barry is because that's truly his birth name, all right? Okay, so, um, somebody sent me, I think it was last week, actually. Um, last week sometime, someone sent me, just a minute, brothers and sisters. Oh, I'm so thirsty, I don't even know why. My water. <laughs> The water is right here and i'm gonna just drink some water right now i'm still thirsty so it's last week sometime sometime sorry. oh god sorry brothers and sisters i'm so thirsty okay so last week sometime brothers and sisters i beloved in the most higher sent me a little video i don't know if you heard about it if you have let me know i didn't really watch the video to be honest with you because it's nearly two hours long i'm thinking and then you got to scroll through to find what you find it's all kind of like oh Columbia. but anyway thank that beloved for sending me that video but the beloved wrote to me they said sister karen have you heard about the portal that was open over the white house never heard about it because i don't think it was in the mainstream media or whatever i don't know so if, if you heard about it brothers and sisters sorry that's that's just a piece of thing flying flying out from me um my stuff um so if you've heard if you heard about it um let me know okay let me know brothers and sisters but i certainly have not heard anything concerning opening of portals over the white house but that said brothers and sisters when i read that email I'm telling you, a vision just flashed back, like literally just rushed back in my heart that I had in 2000 and, is it 2016 or 17? Powerful, powerful vision, powerful vision that I had concerning Barry. So when you talk about the portal opening over the White House, the Lord gave me a vision um, it's somewhere on my UU channel, really and truly. But the Lord gave me a vision concerning Barry. And in this vision, brothers and sisters, um, I was standing outside the White House. And outside the White House, there was lots of flood everywhere, except where I was standing and the White House, all right? And right outside the White House was a stone in the form of a pyramid so it's like a triangle stone literally then all of a sudden i looked up in the sky because i was by myself right nobody was with me so i looked up in the sky brothers and sisters and over the white house coming over to where i am 
lots of lightning and this is why the portal the portal opening over the white house that people saw it reminded me of this vision so i saw lots of lightning flashing over the white house and where i was standing maybe on the lawn or somewhere like that and all of a sudden brothers and sisters the lightning struck the stone this pyramid stone right um the lightning struck the stone and when it struck the stone the stone literally turned into barry and he was stooped down he was literally stooped down and he got up and when he got up and he stand up he was looking at me and he began to smile and he flew off in the distance flew right off in the distance and the angel of the lord began to speak and the angel of the lord said that is the antichrist so you can imagine like i say when that when that beloved wrote to me concerning the portal opening over the white house this vision just came flashing back now the vision has got many many facets to it many 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 facets Another part of the vision after Barry flew off about his business, I was back in my home. And when I was back in my home, I heard his voice coming. We were talking to someone and I heard his voice coming up the stairs. But because the, because the angel of the Lord told me who he was, that he was the Antichrist, obviously, my shield, my spiritual shield went up because I cannot be fooled. He was fooling the other person. He was saying to the person, oh, you know, um, there's lots of water, lots of flood. Don't worry, spaceship. Spaceships are coming for you. And when they come, this is what Barry was saying to the person. And when the spaceship comes, um, make sure you go on them because they will take you to safety. Brothers and sisters, my antenna just went 100% full barrier like this man. I'm not even going to listen to what he was saying. Anyways, I was in my bedroom and Barry came in the bedroom. And when he came in the bedroom, brothers and sisters, the first thing that I noticed concerning Barry is that his eyes are different colors. Red, green, purple, blue, every color you could think of. Mm, yes, Lord. Wow. Some, the Lord just revealed something to me. He's never revealed this. This is powerful as I'm talking. I'm going to tell you what he just revealed to me. So I saw his eyes flicker in different color, like the colors of the rainbow. That's what it is. Yes, Lord. Yes, that's what it is. He's the embodiment of the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P community. It really is. It's the embodiment of them. But I didn't have that revelation. The Lord just revealed that to me. The colors of his eyes. That's that's the rainbow colors that I was seeing. Different colors, brothers and sisters. Somebody said in 2017 underneath that video that, and I'll never forget that because I didn't understand what the flashing different color means. But now as I'm speaking in 2022 and I'm, re I'm retelling the vision, it just, the Lord has placed that in my spirit. That's the, that's the representation of the alphabet community. He's the embodiment of the alphabet community. Um, because remember that the Bible says that the Antichrist will have no need for women. All right. So, but in 2016, underneath that video, that's the same video that I'm talking, somebody put in, says, Sister Carrie, and the colors of his eyes represent flags, the different flags all over the world. And that could be right as, as well. That could be right as well. But like I said, no, I'm talking to you. It just came that alphabet community. So, <clears throat> Barry was coming up closer and closer to me. And as he was coming up closer and closer, I was backing away because I didn't know who he was. So I was backing away to my wall and he was coming up closer. And then, oh, did the vision go? Lord Jesus. And then I cried out to the Most High. I cried out to the Most High. And I said, Yesiah. I didn't call him Yesiah at the time because I didn't know his name. I called him Jesus. I said, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but I said, Yesiah, hallelujah. I said, you promise that you will what? 
you will hide your people from what the face of the serpent so i was literally um quoting the scripture concerning the dragon because i know the truth i know who barry is in the vision so because i know who he is because the angel said he's an antichrist i was saying to the lord well father you said in revelation 12 that you will have the woman and i'm the woman we are the woman the church israel right you will hide us from what the face of the serpent so we're calling up to yesiah we're calling out to yesiah and brothers and sisters the lord appeared in my room yesiah hallelujah thank you god Yes, I appeared in the room. And when he appeared in the room, brothers and sisters, he drew a line between me and Barry. And the line became an invisible wall. It was a wall. But it was invisible. All right? And he couldn't touch me. And then the Lord just went. He didn't say anything. I don't think the Lord said anything. He just did what he had to do. He just drew that line when I called on him and said, You said, you said you're going to hide us. From the face of the serpent and the serpent is coming up close to me so the lord like i said the lord came and he do what he do his thing and draw that that wall so barry even though i could see him and he could see me but the land was there the wall was there but it was an invisible wall and he couldn't couldn't come through and when i looked through my window brothers and sisters there was water everywhere isn't it there was water everywhere high high water like the sea came in on the uk i have to say and there were angels in boat and I remember this angel came up to the window and the angel said, give me your kids, give me your kids and get into the boat. And I remember putting my children into the boat and myself went into the boat. And then all of a sudden, I just, it was just so quick, brothers and sisters, like I was at the place with other brothers and sisters, but we were standing on crystal clear water, only ankle high, but it was beautiful. We could walk in the water. It wasn't making your foot cold. It didn't know it was so nice. And this was like a beautiful island, a place of safety. But then the Lord bring me back. Oh my God. Into my room, which I was so disappointed. Like, I don't want to. But in the vision, the most I, you know, brought me and the kids to the place of safety. But then he brought me back into my bedroom. And when he brought me back into the bedroom, brothers and sisters, Barry was gone. I didn't see him. But when I looked through my windows, I saw spaceships all over the place. Like, oh, and beside these spaceships were bugs. They were like green bugs, you know, hovering around the space. These must be aliens. Not aliens. These are fallen ones, really. Hovering around the spaceships. Each spaceship had a green bug beside them. And when I looked in the distance, I saw Nibruri. So a lot of things are going to <laughs> happen as the woman flees to the wilderness a lot Bible tells you that the dragon spits water after the woman water as if, as if it was a flood after the woman so we know we are prepared I am prepared I know that it's not going to be a walk in the park going to the wilderness because if the first trip to yonder with, with Moses with, with Moses first ex oh dust if the pharaohs were coming after the, 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 the Haitian Hebrew Israelite and the Red Seas in front of them, what do you think is going to happen to us in this, this global exodus? Do you think it's just going to be a walk in the park? Okay, yeah, you're going to the wilderness. No, it's going to be challenging. And you will have to trust the Most High. And you will have to trust the angels when they come to pick you up. Brothers and sisters, to bring you, to bring Israel, to bring the 12 scattered tribe of Jacob into the place of safety, into the wilderness. You'll have to trust the Most High on this one because it's not going to be easy. But you will have to trust him. He will bring us through just like I did with Moses' first trip to Yonder in the wilderness. He opened the Red Sea, parted the Red Sea. So a lot of things, miraculous things are going to happen. But brothers and sisters, listen to me. If any of you doubt the second trip to yonder, a.k.a. the second X, pause a little, O, pause a little, dust, all right? 
If you doubt that thing, I don't know what to say to you because many of you are looking forward for the rapture. Many of you are looking forward for the returning of the biblical Messiah to crack the sky and come and grab you up and go, no, 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 no. He is coming back. I believe that. Yes, Haya is coming back. But brothers and sisters, there are scriptures to be fulfilled. And one of the main scriptures to be fulfilled is the regathering of Jacob 12 scattered tribe. That has not happened yet. I don't care what your pastor up in the pulpit teaching you and telling you that the 1948 so-called political state Israel down there that they are the chosen seed of Yah and that in 1948 Ahiah yeah, the most high, the almighty have done the regathering. The regathering is done. That's a dirty, nasty lie. I don't believe that, brothers and sisters. It's a wicked, dirty lie. The regathering of a highest 12 scattered tribe, it's not happened yet. It will happen. We are so close. This is why I do so many videos. I don't know if, well, I'm sure there's other channels out there that's talking about the second trip to Yonder, and you should. You should now begin to talk about that because this thing is coming up. But brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, we are very, very, very close. The 400 years of slavery is up. That stuff is, is literally up, you know. And Ahaya is going to bring back his chosen seed where we belong. But some of the Gentiles are coming with us. Some of the born-again Christian who love the Most High, who walk in his law and status and love us as a people, no hatred, no racism in their hearts and all of that foolish, all right? They will be hidden with us into safety. This is biblical. You need to read Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 11. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11 onwards, and Jeremiah 30. Read them in your own time. Jeremiah 30 gives you an excellent outline. And when you see that, you'll say, oh, oh okay, so these are the seed of Yah. Scatter. We're scattered to the four corners. Don't let John Agee. John Agee is a devil. Right? Benihin, a devil. Cruffalo, a devil. Um, what's his name? Juanita, Paula White, and all these men, they're, 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 all, they're all liars, brothers and sisters, because why they support the political state down there in 1948. And they tell the whole entire world, the, the lie. Oh my God, Jesus, I come. The lie, and they tell the whole world that, oh, those are the true seed of Israel. Those are the true seed. Those are the 12 scattered tribes down there. It's not them. That's not even wilderness. Look down into is the, well, they say that's Israel. Well, that's not Israel, but we'll call it Israel for now for the sake of the video. So they said, look down in Israel. But if you look down in Israel, it's all modernized. Israel is modernized. They've got the best weapon. They've got stuff. They've got the best doctor. They've got everything. But Ahaya says what? What did Ahaya say? He says that the woman flee to the wilderness. Does Israel look like wilderness to you? <laughs> Does it look like wilderness? Everybody's got access to Israel. You can take plane and get there. But the wilderness will be cut off. Nobody can go there except the 12, except the 12 scattered tribe and the born again Gentiles who are coming with us. You can't take plane to come there because the Bible says that the dragon, when, when Satan sees that, when the Antichrist realizes that, uh oh, he can't touch the woman, she's already gone, the, ooh, then he turns, sorry, brothers and sisters, then Satan turns his attention to the remnant. That means those who did not make it into the second exodus for whatever reason. I don't know your reason why you're not going to make it. The vision is true. I don't lie. 
and the second the second trip to yonder is at our door i am telling you angels 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 of the most that are coming for you they're coming for you you have to prepare yourself and like i say in many of the videos please be respectful especially the females because these angels are male so when stranger comes up to you don't don't you know think that all oh, they're, they're trying to check you out trying to get with you and stuff and you, you you know you give the attitude and stuff like don't do that listen what they say because they're gonna come to you like a normal man and if you're not careful you're gonna miss out so learn to be respectful learn to have patience and just listen and when they begin to speak whether they, because they're gonna find you you could be at your workplace your homes anywhere you are in the prison some of these hebrew israelite men are locked up in prison all over the world israel or israelite men are in prison and some of the born again who have given their hearts to the lord the non-gentiles born again who have given the law or to the law they're in prison so angels are going for them they might say, oh, Sister Karen, but what about the security guard? What about the prisoner guard? What about this? Don't worry about that. Don't, don't, don't bother about that. You might say, oh, Sister Karen, but some of us have got to take planes. I don't have a passport. Don't worry about your passport. Angels. These are angels, brothers and sisters. They don't understand angels. They got power. So don't worry about your passport. What all you need to worry about is to make sure that your heart is with the Lord. All right? Is with Ahaya. And you're living holy and you're not rebellious. That's all you need to worry about. Don't worry about anything else. Because the angels are coming. They're coming. So yes, brothers and sisters, please. Um, so that was a very powerful vision. Spacecraft, UFOs, we have to contend with that. I believe that when we're traveling into the wilderness, we may see some UFOs over our heads. Because I've, I've, I've had other vision when the, the second trip to yonder started and we begin to travel, travel with the angels. We saw UFOs over our head trying to entice us. But the angel told us not to look at them. Keep going. Don't look. Don't, because they're very enticing. And the angel said, don't look at them. Keep straight ahead to yonder. Because we're going to the place. Of, I'm so excited. Oh, 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 I long. Oh, my God. Oh, I long to be with my people. Hmm? Oh, I long to be with my people. To worship on one accord. It's going to be so nice. Come and find me. No, plenty of you know me. I only know some of you names. Yes, you have profile pics, but still. So I'm expecting when I get there that some of you who have been watching this channel and because of this channel, you know about the second trip to yonder, the second X, pause, O, pause, dos. I have to do that, brothers and sisters, because, because I've been talking about the second X, pause, O, pause, dos. Um, you, you have picked up on certain things. So when you talk about the second X, X, O, Thus, when you talk about that, when you talk about the 12 scattered tribe of Jacob, um, that it, it doesn't like it because they know the truth, so they, they make sure the algorithm you know picks up certain things. So that's why I use code because I talk about it. I've been talking about the second trip to yonder, um, for years, a long time since a long time, it's coming up. We're very, very close. We're very, very, very close. We're very, very close. I've talked. I've done a video the other day, and I talk about the Euphrates River drying up. And I know that the Euphrates River, the Bible says that. Okay, you know, in Revelation, that the Euphrates River will dry up to make man, men pass over because of the Armageddon and because of the war that is going to happen. But you've got to understand, brothers and sisters, that the Bible says that. Um, the seven streams of the river, this is the Euphrates that the Mosai is talking about, is dried up because 
12 scattered tribe of Jacob is all over the world. And we need access. Nothing underneath the sun. Everything that happened in the first Exodus is going to, if you know, if you know the pattern of the Lord, this is the reason why I keep on telling brothers and sisters and those of you who refuse, you refuse, you refuse to accept the three days of darkness. I don't know why. If I come and I talk to you about water turning into blood, you agree. You said, yes, Sister Karen, that is a plague. If I come and said, you know, the firstborn is going to die. You said, yes, Sister Karen, that is a plague. We'll talk about flies and locusts and sores and this. You say, yes, Sister Karen, 100, that's a plague. But when it comes to the three days of darkness, which is one of the plague of the ten plagues, it's like you're a false prophetess. You don't know what you're talking about. It ain't going to happen. And I, I just, I don't know. It, it's strange. <laughs> I just, I find it really strange. Why some people are so negative. They even go out of their way to do videos. Literally bashing this channel. Saying that this channel is fake and it's false. Because I'm up on here talking about the three days of darkness. But nothing new. You've been warned. Blood is off my hands a long time. From the moment I begin to talk about the three days of darkness. Because I know it's coming. And those who are, those who are in the truth know that the three days of darkness will happen. Whether it's going to happen when we're in the wilderness or before, it's up to the most high. Some people say it's going to happen before we go into the wilderness. Some people say while we're in the in wilderness, while we're there in the wilderness, it will happen. Well, mm, something is just, oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something just rests on my heart. What time is it? Oh, look at the time. It's a long video, but you better watch it, brothers, best watch it, brothers and sisters. But something rested on my heart. You know, with the first... Let me, I might do a video about it, actually. Mm, yes, Lord. All right, let me do a video because the time is running. It's, it's a long video now. I don't like to do long. So I'll do another video about what I'm about to say concerning the, th the three days of darkness. I'm going to do a video about that. All right. Okay, so be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most high Ahaya who lives above the heavens. Ahaya eternally bless you. I love you all, and I'll see you soon someday in glory. In yes, high is holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.